Hello everyone. Welcome to the Learning Express YouTube channel. Friends, today I am going to discuss about the SPML branch of IIT Kharagpur. People are frequently asking about this branch because they are getting it as an offer in the second round of COAP. I have covered basic details. In introduction part, I can say I have mentioned here number of students this year or after that uh, curriculum work or the course work then project work and later on industrial support and placements. So number of students last year or you can say this year, people initially uh, got 25 persons were as an intake and now it is reduced to 12. Others are already left for PSUs and other reasons maybe. And curriculum work and course work, I'll talk about it in later slides and then project idea and then placements. So this is a course work. I have mentioned a few subjects uh, as a core subjects and electives also. So in core subjects, basically the first thing is the important thing is here that the all the course work or the, whether it is a uh, electives or whether it is a, a core course, you have to be focused with the mathematics part. Because uh, the four courses they provide in this branch are mathematics based, linear algebra and probability is very important. Because ultimately you are going to deal with signal uh, processing, image processing. So uh, uh, coding is very important here. Machine learning and signal processing as you can see here is an elective. Artificial intelligence, then biomedical signal processing. So these are few electives and other electives may also be there. So according to uh, the desire of the students, so one can select the electives. And specifically, if I talk about the four courses, so there is image processing and speech processing. So the important thing here is that you must have the strong foundation of mathematics and you are going to learn mathematics, uh, linear algebra up to uh, some good level and the probability, uh, yeah, probability here up to some advanced level. So we have to see that one thing, that there should be a strong foundation of signals. So I have mentioned this point. Now, if I talk about the project work, the project work of this branch is, uh, is related to mainly the ML domain, deep learning domain and speech processing domain, maybe also signal processing domain. So these all domains and the all the projects work are related to your uh, basically signal processing, speech processing and deep learning, whatever can say, mostly toward the coding side. And uh, important point that I mentioned here is an, as a note, all projects are good to support the profiles needed by industry. So people who are going to join this branch need not to worry about the you know, projects. Because you are going to get a good opportunity to do the selective courses and to do the selective projects. Professors are very good here. They are going to support you and they will help you to take the courses according to the demand of industry. So as I discuss these things from my batchmates, here yeah, one thing that I can say in this project work or can say coursework, these courses are basically uh, maybe new for many of the people who are going to join from the electrical or electronics background because uh, we do not see these things usually on basic or can say in graduation level or in gate preparation also these um, many things are new for us so basically the advanced mathematics advanced okay, the signal and image processing so machine learning and artificial intelligence so almost all the things are new here so one can say here the pointer is really a critical thing here. So making the pointer is really tough here. So I can mention here the CGPA may be the concern here. And now if I talk about the placements. So yeah, placements are good. And last year the companies visited or Qualcomm. NVIDIA, Mercedes Benz, ADI, and some other companies also. I have not uh, mentioned here one to few companies, but these are the uh, mainly you can say the companies. And uh, some of them also 
look for a good CGP also. So one thing that I mentioned previously that uh, getting CGP is really tough here uh, because many courses are new to the all the students. Uh, we have to be disciplined and accordingly we have to uh, do the curriculum work so that uh, some good pointers can be obtained here and because, because the companies uh, might be looking for the Qualcomm directly look for the pointers sometime. So yes and uh, if I talk about the roles offered by companies this year, the multimedia role, computer vision, deep learning, signal processing role and image processing role. So these all roles are really related to what the curriculum work you want you are doing here and what the lab lab works you will do here. So these all roles are according to this, according to that. So placements I can say are good. And uh, yes. So if I talk about the average packages or can say uh, a maximum package. Then Qualcomm offered this year the highest package and for the multimedia profile and all other companies also offering or offering input placements here. So average package is around 20 or more than that. So no need to worry about it. And uh, yeah, if uh, this is the important thing because uh, this branch is uh, going to offer you some new things. So I have mentioned here prerequisites also. So one very important thing here is that you must have this strong interest in, I, I would say that a strong interest, strong interest in coding. If you are thinking to build your profile in VLSI domain and taking this branch, it might be a biggest mistake because you are not going to get here coursework or project work or anything related to the VLSI domain. It might be possible you might get uh, one, two electives, uh, might get, not sure. Then this is this thing is not going to help you because you cannot build entire VLSI or VLSI profile here. So please, one uh, anyone who is thinking that they will join it and will build their VLSI profile is going to be a biggest mistake. So person who is really interested in uh, coding uh, are really you can say. The person really interested in coding should join this branch. And uh, basic prerequisites that I mentioned here, uh, you must have a good idea of Python at least. And uh, basically, we all know the some basic languages like C++ and C. But you must have the idea of Python here. Because Python is going to use there, and professor will start by assuming that you know the basics. So at least you must have the basic idea of Python and after that you should start here. And DS is very important. Data structure and algorithm is very important here. So you must have the basic idea of data structures like array, linked list and other data structures. And uh, also you must have the basic idea of algorithms like searching, sorting, merging. Uh, binary search tree and different of different type of trees here. I think people who know any thing about the DSA can connect what I am saying. But you must have the idea. So uh, Met, yeah, important thing here is also MATLAB is also very important because uh, people are doing lab work here in MATLAB and also doing some projects in MATLAB. So I can see here Python and MATLAB are two important things here. So you must have the idea of coding. And you must have the idea of metal. So uh, one course that I can recommend that I got in uh, that I got to know about it from my batchmates. So course on image processing that is an on ramp on image processing. This is the course you can Google it or you can uh, complete it before joining this so that you might have a good idea on ramp on signal processing. And uh, uh, Last but not least, strong foundation of linear algebra and probability is required. So this is very important thing. And this is this is a thing we are already familiar with because we already done in gate exams, probability and algebra. And you can expect some higher level here. The, uh, some expect expectations are high here. The, you, you would uh, assume like the probability will start up to uh, from certain level. So you must have the basic idea of probability and linear algebra. 
so these are the things that i have uh, discussed here if i left uh, some things then i i should recap it so yeah i should recap it so initially mentioned i the number of students this year uh, intake was 25 and uh, now they are 12 due to some reasons or psc might be the concern and uh, so in coursework the overall idea if i want to conclude from the coursework is that people who are really interested in coding and really interested in image processing signal processing speech processing deep learning kind of things artificial intelligence machine learning and machine learning and signal processing this uh, combination is very important so people who are really interested in please uh, join it otherwise this is going to be a troublesome situation for you if you are thinking that you are going to build a vlsa profile and joining this then again i will mention it please do not do this thing and i have also discussed all the project work so all the projects are yeah, whatever you are going to get here is related to that domain only so you cannot uh, expect any vlsi again i'll uh, say that and the projects are good no need to worry about it and professors are also good they are going to give you the uh, proper idea proper guidance so yes a yeah, grade might be the concern a cgpa might be the concern here because uh, many courses are new so you should think like this and you should uh, do hard work like that also i can say and uh, placements i talk about this these companies visited last year and uh, packages are good and uh, roles and uh, uh, can say profiles the companies offered are also mentioned here so you can see it properly and after that prerequisite so you must have uh, something in your head before joining it. it you might have the bad situation you might not be comfortable here so please do these things or revise these things before joining this branch so so that you can do something better here uh, because you have enough time after confirming this uh, counseling rounds you have at least i think one two months or one and a half months here so you can do these courses so thank you this is enough for this video i think you might be uh, get good help from my side and if you have still have any problem and you want to know something more you can ask me thank you